Hello again, fans of CoinOps. Uh, this is Pixel Freak from the CoinOps Discord server with a sneak preview of what has been a fan submitted mod that has made it the big time. Congrats to Spirotechnic. BP has asked that uh, I set out a video here. Uh, basically, Spirotechnic on the uh, boards there on Discord had uh, woken up from a fever dream about uh, a racing mod, and he put together a mock up that worked so darn well. It got everybody's detention, attention. And BP uh, made it a reality with some uh, optimization, making it uh, to the quality standards that CoinOps uh, puts out. Understand now that there is a version called CoinOps Legends Racer. You can get it in the regular place. Join the Discord server, read the fact, pay attention, help out, be cool, man, and everybody will help you out. All right. So if you want to understand how all this works, of course, there's the executable. Let's take a quick look under the hood before we fire it off because it is absolutely gorgeous. Advanced configs, BP included some of the most basic. This is a small build, so you just need to know, hey, can I dim uh, attract mode if I'm using it? Sure. Can I have it long hold if I'm using it or can I turn it off? Sure. Removing the back button or coin button from your controls so that you don't accidentally exit out of the menu. That's included here. The standard bats come with almost every build that comes out. Shutdown button, dis Disable. If you want to have uh, the shutdown button in your games, let's say you're running a cabinet and you don't want to whip out the keyboard all the time, you can enable it either just to back to the desktop or my favorite in cab cabinet mode is if you uh, use the shutdown button, it'll shut down your entire cabinet. Basically, it shuts down uh, the OS, which in most uh, current PCs, if unless you're using Super Potato, uh, it's going to shut down the PC as well. Zero delay encoder. If you're having control uh, issues because you have a generic or zero delay encoder and you're getting the double skip or the double button press, etc., run this so that it will uh, prevent that from happening. It only applies to zero day or zero delay or generic. Back to you know, it's got the fixes. Run DX9, etc. Otherwise, Legends Racer. Let's check it out. Oh, you'll also see Joy to Key. Do not touch Joy to Key. It's not for controls. It's simply so that you can exit out of the PC games because this is going to run on all the PC games that you supply. Firing it off, folks. For you racer fans out there, you're now going to have a dedicated mods for the racer build on the Discord server. It's going to be officially supported. Understand that when you fire it up, all of these are already pre-made. Understand, these games are not included. Users must supply their own games. However, these ones already have the artwork set up, sample bats included so that you can understand how to add on more or just include your own games. Remove the bats from where I'm gonna show you if you do not have these games. But how cool is this? This overlay of the first person from the cockpit if you're going to add more art, uh, which will be user submissions, all supported in those uh, in the new channel. Make sure that you're doing your artwork from the first person hood view. Absolutely gorgeous. Full size 1080p videos. If you're going to add to them, make sure you match the quality so that you can add to them and share. But this is just an absolutely gorgeous for those racer fans. Uh, this build is top notch. Small, dedicated, and fit for purpose. All right. Now, for those of you that want to understand, you're going to have your games installed on your PC, but to make sure that this build sees them, you're going to make sure that in collections, PC Gamer, and in the ROMs, you're going to see the bats, okay? In here, let's take, for example, Dirt 5. Go in there and you'll see, all right, it is set up to be able to pull that game from your installation. Make sure that the executable and the path match to where you have the game installed. Everything else will just work, fall into place because the artwork and everything is already there. Now, uh, one word of caution, I haven't been able to test it myself, but if you are one of those that has multiple hard drives because of space, you know, who doesn't have too many games, right? Uh, make sure that the game name, the executable goes here if it's not already the default one. But in the game path, if you have your OS and or your coin ops build and or your game on different media, you might have to put the full path here to include drive, letter, colon, etc. cetera. Uh, but if it is on the same, you might be able to just do the relative pathing like it is here. All right. 
Everybody, all I can say is this is now a reality. It's uh, to be found in the regular place. Join the Discord server. Follow the rules. We love to see you there. Everybody contribute to the best you can. But congratulations to Spirotechnic and the Coin Ops team. This is a beautiful build, which I think is going to see uh, quite some enhancements over time. And I anticipate it's going to be supported quite heavily because it's been asked for for quite a bit. Also, check out the Light Gun Sindon build that's at work in progress. Retro Arcade 3 continues to be developed and is getting closer. And Legends 2 is coming to an end after version 3 is released for PC and Pi upcoming any minute now. Uh, and then it's going to move on to Legends and uh, Legends 3. All right. We'll see you on the Discord. Till next time.